Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God Solar 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. I'm Sister Barbara, Brother Dan's recording. Uh, Brother Dan, well, I have a message, but I can't read it because the tissues are there. You see them. <laughs> because I can't read it because I start crying. So Brother Dan said, I'm going to have to read it. So I'm going to be in the King James Bible. I'm going to be in Matthew. And it's funny, Brother Dan opened the book exactly to the scripture. Upside Matthew, down, yes, I opened upside it. upside down, right to the page. Matthew chapter 10. I'm going to be reading 16, uh, verse 16 to 23. So, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that time, in that same hour, what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speaks, but the Spirit of your Father, which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you, in this city flee ye into another, for verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel, till the Son of Man be come. I'm up? Yes, you're up, Brother Dan. Okay, so this is a sober, so I already have my tissues right. out there. And I noticed that the battery is low. So yes. I, I, Hurry I up, Brother Dan. I'm not going to read fast because I want everybody to get it. But I'm just letting you know the battery's low. Okay, I got this on Sunday. And been yeah, you got this on, on Sunday, and I think days. you got other pieces the last couple of days. Yes, I've been praying on three days. Okay. Goodbye, my friends. You have been with me long enough to know who I am. We lived and laughed together, sat late into the evening talking and breaking bread together, discussing our plans. I wanted you to know the real me. Then the trials we shared brought us closer. Remember how we prayed together and tried to teach our younger friends? Trying to be a good example. Helping those in need. Lending a helping hand. Sharing our wisdom and understanding. This may be the last goodbye tonight. I want you to know how much you are loved and how much I love you. If I am not here in the morning, do not look for me. I told you I would be going away. In time, you will understand why I had to leave. But for now, remember, even though I'm gone, you will see me in another place. I am about my father's business. Please don't cry. You will remain. There is more work to be done. Your, in, your father in heaven will pour out my spirit on you and open your eyes and ears to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding you will need in these last days. The Spirit says, come, come, the evening is upon us. And my, I got goosebumps on my whole, <laughs> complete arms up and down. That, that's I, it. That's a hair razor hung in there. Yes, I had that. I was praying on that for three days. Wow. Yes. Okay, so I, I know our battery's going dead. Well, we're okay, so just okay. do your thing. So repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 2.38. And once again, I have my prophecy time frame. In sackcloth and ashes, I'm announcing the coming of the glorious kingdom. I started that on September 24th, 2015. That is the time darkness began. You could Google those or YouTube those um, titles uh, to those messages if you're knowing you never heard them. 
So I, I'm announcing the coming of the Glorious Kingdom started on September 24th, 2015. I continue on that, doing that until April 6th, 2019. God only knows how many more prophecies Brother Dan's going to have to read, so I'm not here crying with my tissue. <laughs> so again, God bless you all. Be safe. And thank you, everyone, that, that helped out on my apparatus uh, that was denied by the insurance company because we still have problems thanking everyone on the, on the um, email. I got through some of them. Yeah, Brother Dan. I, I got I through them most again. of them, but I didn't get all of them. So I'm working on it. Yes, yeah, so God bless you all. And I'm also working on the book with you, too. Yes, there's the book. See, look. Fred, you see that? Yes. I was able to print. Yes, we have the book. <laughs> My concern is that, and I, I was to saying, Brother Dan, Brother Dan, you need to get some time in your busy schedule and help me work on that because I keep on dumping the papers right. all over. But at least I got it printed. Yes, so that's the printed copy for me to edit, Brother yep. Dan, to edit. So God bless you all. Thanks, Fred, again. And am I forgetting anything? Uh, I don't we think so. Thank everybody. God yep. bless you all. And, and listen to that message a couple times. Make yep. sure you have your tissues with you. It took me a little bit till I got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Try to figure out what it's about, yes, where it's I going. Because like, I didn't get it until you told me. No, I had to tell Brother Dan. I yeah. had I had to get, say, Brother Dan, get it. Kinda it kind of reminded me of like the Last Supper. Yes, it, it, it kind of does. And then it also, it's, it has to do with the resurrection. So right. God only knows, like I said, what's going to happen. We already have that one we just put up about the graves opening. Yep. And, and the ground rumbling, so... We have some, some big things coming upon us, and we know we're in the end time. So God bless you all. Amen. Shalom.